Hello, you are watching Unipro Eugene podcast, where we discuss the hottest topics introduced by our users and show the helpful ways of using Eugene, a free cross-platform genome analysis suite. Today's topic is the Weight Matrix plugin, which is a new part of Eugene 1.7. It allows to search for transcription factor binding sites. User can create and save position weight and frequency matrices and align the transcription factor described by these matrices to an opened sequence. To invoke the plugin, we open a sequence, for example, this FASTA format sequence, and then right-click and select Analyze, Search TBFS with matrices. In the Open dialog box, we specify the matrix describing interesting transcription factor to search for in the selected sequence. Specify the search identity score and the standard search parameters, such as region and strand. There are several ways to define the matrix. To start with, Eugene package contains local copies of JASPAR and UniProbe databases. By pressing Browse, we can select a matrix of one of these databases. Also, it is possible to search the JASPAR database with the special interface by pressing Search JASPAR database. Here the matrices are divided into categories, and we can read detailed information of every matrix represented by the properties. And then we can choose it. The last way to choose a weight matrix is to create a specific one from an existing alignment. We press Build new matrix and select certain alignment as the input. The alignment must contain no gaps. After the alignment is set, the alignment logo will appear at the bottom part of the dialog box. It gives a representation of the selected alignment. Now we need to specify the build parameters. Statistic type defines the way in which the statistics will be collected by subsequences of length 1 for the mononucleic option or of length 2 for the denucleic option. The resulting matrix can be of the frequency type or of the weight type. In the latter case, we will need to specify the algorithm to transform intermediate frequency matrix into the resulting weight matrix. Now we need to specify the output file in which the new matrix will be saved. Let's press Start. The matrix has been created and saved. Also, it has been automatically chosen as the sort for matrix. Now we can adjust the identity score, which stands for the statistical significance of the search. Also, the weight algorithm must be set in order to transform the created frequency matrix into the sort for weight matrix. Let's select the log odds algorithm. We will search in both strands of the whole sequence. Press search. The task is finished, and all the search results are represented at the table below, including the identity scores. Search results can be saved as annotations, which would contain matrix properties if JASPAR or UniProbe matrix was used. Let's save the annotations. As we can see, the saved annotations has been automatically added to the opened sequence view, and we can close the dialog and browse the results. That's all for today. Thank you for watching.